welcome to our stream for Aqualin. For those who don't know me, I'm Mandy Hutchinson. Uh, and I'm Ashley Garapy. And, well, I just said it. We're playing Aqualin by <laughs> Cosmos Games. I got ahead of myself there. I was all excited because it actually, like, worked <laughs> on the first try. Ashley's That's why I was dancing. <laughs> I know. Things are, you know, everything, what is it? Everything's coming at Millhouse. Is that how that goes? <laughs> yeah, I think there's also, like daisies or roses or something oh yeah everything's coming up roses or something i think so we're testing out different oh, settings wow. today so uh there hopefully is less latency in the stream there will be a little bit um but i'm hoping it's not as much as usual so everybody let us know in the chat if that's the case um or if it's still the same okay because uh, there's a very minor difference between um, ultra low and low so i don't want to put the extra stress on the computer if i don't have to anyway i see some comments ashley they get to see your game collection uh, you get to see my game collection it's my it's only one of my shelves and you can't yeah. i don't think see all of it um but yes usually i have a green screen but i didn't feel like putting it up today <laughs> <Hey -o. laughs> unlike me so you a, get to see my games tell me if you spot any like you play find the game and see if you can find any like weird things <laughs> also what i love about my bookshelf is it's not just games there's like little pieces of ashley like strewn about yes. that are like i don't know little secrets <laughs> little secrets Ooh. yeah i have the green screen because my it's bad back there i'm still going through my trove box i'm almost done and that's literally spread out all over so you all don't need to see that so <laughs> <laughs> that's about it all right, thank you, chat, for joining us. I see our regulars. Yeah, 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 that makes me happy. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pop over, switch our scene if Ashley wants to share her screen, and we're going to play some. I guess so. Wait. Aquaman. Oh, yeah, that's green. And just so you know, when we practice this, when I say practice, as in practice, like... we just played a regular game. Okay. When I, say, I shouldn't say practice, <laughs> but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> as in, like, we took some time to go through it because I hadn't played it yet. Uh, it was close. It's really yes, close. Yes, very, very close. Yeah. So, all right. Let me pop over to table. And you know, because Mandy didn't mention who won, that it was me. Okay. All right. <laughs> By like one point, okay? <laughs> one point. <laughs> I know. I'm going to take that all the way to the bank because that is a game 100% that I thought you were going to run away with. So, I'm not mad Oh, gosh, it. no. <laughs> I, it's, it's pretty hard to do, to run away with something in this game, unless you have somebody who's just, like, not paying attention or doesn't <laughs> quite know how to play, like, right. that abstract game. Yes. I, I love, uh, I love, <laughs> just so positive. Yeah, Mandy has a chance. That's right. <laughs> definitely, definitely Mandy does, yes. <laughs> okay, I will uh, <laughs> hand it over to Ashley, and she's going to walk us through a little bit how to play. Cool. Um, so Aqualon is very, very simple. It's a two-player only game uh, and it's very abstract. So um, what's going to happen is we're going to be trying to make what they call schools or contiguous groups of tiles based on either color or animal. So one of us is going to want, uh, be scoring contiguous groups of colors, whereas the other person is going to be scoring contiguous groups of animals. And I really don't like this initial setup because it doesn't let me do a little example, <laughs> but that's fine. Sorry. Right. Um, so on your turn, the first thing you can do is you can move a tile. So as we're placing tiles out on the board, let's just make a little thing. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to shift them. So we can shift uh, up or down or left or right. But when we shift a tile, we can shift it to the point where it it only it stops when it reaches an edge. So if I was to shift this little fish tile and I wanted to move it right, it's going to go all the way over there. I couldn't just choose to shift it one or two spaces because there's no edge so it goes all the way to the end of the board alternatively when you shift a tile let's move that there let's say i wanted to move this seahorse it can shift all the way and then basically bump into another tile and as soon as it does that it stops moving so first thing we, we can do is move a tile second thing we're going to do is choose one of the six available tiles here put it on the board and then we're going to refill the drafting pool so it's a very rules simple game but Mandy, is it a simple game? No, my goodness, no. <laughs> no, it's not at all. Because uh, you're you're sort of straddling the line between playing defensively right. and trying to protect your little groupings, as well as playing offensively and trying to ruin other people's groupings. <laughs> like, this game can get a little vicious. Yes, it absolutely can. But in a good way, question mark? Yes, definitely in a good way, I think. Um, so Mandy... 
Do you want to be animals again, since that's how we played? Yeah, let's keep it consistent. Yeah. And before we start, I have a question for the chat. Has anyone played, heard of this game and or have you played this game? So we're playing on Tabletopia, for those who don't know, but I'd be curious to know what the chat thinks. It also lets me test the latency of the stream. <laughs> Perfect. And I put it in the chat so that we don't forget. So Mandy will be with animal, not our actual chat, the Tabletopia chat, um, which may or may not be on screen. Uh, you uh, can so Mandy, see, your animals... Yeah, yeah. Mandy, your animals, I will be color. So Mandy is trying to get crabs next to crabs and fish next to fish and medusas next to medusas and seahorses to seahorses and starfish to starfish and turtles to turtles, whereas I want all yellow things and all red things and all purple things together. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm looking at the chat, which actually answered pretty more, faster than it usually does, so that makes me happy. But most people have not heard of it, and uh, let's see, I've heard of it, and I've seen it played already. Okay, so yeah, it's relatively new. I believe, from Cosmos uh, Games. It is. I think it came out at, if, if not Essen, then Gen Con? I, around, right. between Gen Con and Essen. Yeah, so definitely, it's been out for a little while, but it's kind of new. Amanda Panda, I'd love to play with both of you. So this is a one of the two-player games from Cosmos, and I don't know if anybody listens to the podcast that I do with Suzanne, but she mentioned that she likes to collect those. And I think, Ashley, you do too, those two-player yeah, uh, Cosmos Even games. Even though I don't get to play them that often, I find them to be just like, oof, bellissima. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie, I would happily commentate a video playthrough of Ashley and Amanda. I think that would be fantastic. I think it would be so entertaining. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like it would be like a nail biter. But anyway, sorry, I interrupted. Go ahead, Ashley. I didn't interrupt. I, I think I was done. Oh, okay. Um, so I went first last time. Do you want to go first, Mandy? No. Or do you want me to go first? Yeah, okay. All right. It's like, I feel like saying no is bad. It's like tic-tac-toe. Whoever goes first is probably guaranteed they're going to win. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, it doesn't seem like there's a start player advantage based on the rule no, where it's just I'm like just messing around. So maybe yeah. I don't think you could do much in the first action really. But... Yeah, no, like so the first option on my the first thing I do on my turn is I could move, but there's nothing there. There's so nothing. Whoop, yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> and then I don't know, there I'll play something. Let's just put this fish here. Okay. And, say... and then the third thing I do is refill. Cosmos makes great two-player games. I have a couple. Yeah, like, what are... Do you know the ones that are in there? While I do my turn, Ashley, yes. do you know? Yes, I do. Yes. Lost Cities. Mm -hmm. uh, Imhotep Duel is great. Um, there's a really, really old one that's a little dorky, but I love it, called Dragonheart. Uh, it's by <laughs> Ruta Godorn. Okay. Uh, gonna... There's oh, the, the Catan one. I think it's... I always... I think it's Starships? I always forget which Catan one it is, but there's a two-player Catan line. The Targi. Uh -huh. Is in the in oh, there. Yes. Um, Jumbo slash Asante is also in there. Oh, Basically, I'm just one. naming the ones I have. No, it's good. Like I actually don't right know that there. one. I don't know that one, so I don't have that one. Oh, speaking of vicious two-player games, that is nasty. <laughs> Catan Rivals, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Is the Lost Cities one? Is that part of it? That two-player Lost version? Cities is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, sorry, I'm done. So I did not move at your tile, and I just placed one. Oh, yes. Uh, Rosedon, I think that's the... That's one of the few that hasn't... Has that one gotten reprinted? The one that Mikhail's thing? I, Rose, I can't It sounds so it. familiar to me. Is it Rosen Koenig? I think it's War of the Roses. It's on yes. Yukata. I, you know what? I think it was... Re I could be wrong, but I believe there is one. It's in a black box, if I'm not mistaken. I could yes, be wrong. Yes, and it looks like the rose from like Beauty yeah. and the Beast almost, yes, but yes. without the casing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the perfect example. Yes, yes. So, and tell me, is that, did I say that right? Rosenkönig? But please tell me if I'm wrong, because I seem to put a French accent with everything, so. <laughs> okay, sorry. Go ahead, Ashley. No, it's my turn, and I just don't like what I, I'm just oh, stalling. Okay, you do happening. the things, and I'll keep chatting away now that our chat's a little bit faster. I think um, I'm going to okay. move this fish here. Uh-huh. And then, ooh. <laughs> Oh, I forget where I put it was, so I'll just leave it there. You're anyway. doing colors, okay. right? I swear, sometimes I get these. Like, I'm doing color. You're doing parts. animals. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Oh, I forgot to refill. Okay. Well, I'm going to. Um... Ben. Hmm. I'm. I know. What? Fine. You're. You're allowed to. You're allowed to ruin my grouping. That's totally. It's not that bad. I'm just gonna do that. And so groupings of one do not count as anything so so far neither of us are scoring any points no it's it's a little rough right now 
<laughs> so you'll notice this will be a very short game. <laughs> Uh, mind you, I feel like we did uh, we did get some, like, it got a little longer, the turns. When I say long, it was, like, maybe, like, a minute where we kind of needed more time to assess the board. So so for those who were just joining or popped in and did miss that last move, I moved the green turtle from the left to the right of the board, and I placed a crab beside the green crab because I am trying to group like animals together. I want her to. Oh, come on. <laughs> Be nice. Ah, poop-a-loop. Yeah, that did not. And, and here's the thing. Because it's, I, it's because I made a mistake, so now I have to compensate for it. Great. Great. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to make that a dead zone because I don't see any way out of that without you getting purple points. So, uh, okay. Well, that, that did not go the way I would have liked at all. And this selection of animals is... Uh, Lasai, Lasai. Okay. Thank you, Amanda Panda. This is not a game when, where anyone is nice. <laughs> That's a fair That's point. That's correct. Oh, this is garbage. Sorry, I it's need not a great for me either. Like I, two <laughs> colors of each is not very good. No, it isn't. It's it's actually pretty rough. <laughs> well, oh, good gravy. Okay, let's do this, and let's do this. Whether that was a good move or not, uh, I don't know. That's interesting. <laughs> I told you I'm going to make that area a dead zone. Spoiler alert. I can see that. <laughs> I can, I can see if that. I can't have it, no one can. <laughs> oh, goodness. Most of what I put, you're just going to be annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So while Ashley's thinking, I can let everybody know about my um, video games. I've been playing Sea of Thieves on the Xbox, and a couple friends are playing on PC, so you can play cross-platform. I was all excited, tested out my new headphones. <sighs> I was just telling Great. Ashley, I have to return the headphones. They keep cutting out. I'm so annoyed right How many now. times have you tried to get headphones, Mandy? I know. This is like, what, the second or third time? So now I've ordered, like, the top-of-the-line ones that I wanted from the beginning, and if they, these don't work, that's it. I don't care. I'm just going to go to like $15 ones and call it a day. <laughs> so mad. But Sea of Thieves, by the way, so fun. And I hate pirate themed anything. It's really fun. <laughs> okay. On your next, on my next turn, you should tell everyone what happened to you the first time you played. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Which one? There were so many things. Oh yes. Tell them all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me, okay. Let's see what I want to do here. Yeah, I don't like what I see there from you at all. And I see where that's going. Not a fan. So we're going to move this down here. And <laughs> we're going to move this here. And this here. Wow, that did not go the way I would have thought. Yeah, see, so, yeah, I was so excited about the headphones. Like, you don't understand, they were comfortable. I'm like, oh, the sound is good. The mic is good. And, you know, it's not like I have... Let's be clear, I'm not rich here, okay? But I like to buy quality, so if I if I can't afford it, then I'll wait till I can afford it, but I had the money, so I bought the um, Arctis 9X, they're specifically for Xbox. Oh my goodness, they were great, and then they just kept cutting out. So, like, literally, we're playing, I'm getting attacked by, by you know, pirate skeletons, and all of a sudden, I'm telling everybody, okay, quickly, I'm gonna grab the treasure, and hello? Hello? Like, I hear nothing, and this is only, like, my second time playing, so I wasn't even really sure what I was doing. My friend was guiding us through it, and I'm just, oh my goodness, and they're chasing me and attacking me, and no one could help me because they couldn't hear me. So I was like, crucial times like this are not when your headphones should be cutting off. Sorry, I was very upset about it. The first game we played, I got eaten by a shark. Like, twice. Or no, maybe that was Brian. Whatever. It's just a hot mess. Brian got eaten by the shark twice because your boat exploded. <laughs> that I was wasn't it. part of the game. I'm just, I just have a crazy good memory. Um, no, but okay. yeah, you're, somebody attacked your boat when That's... you were diving. And so you were underwater and your boat, you saw your boat explode. And then poor Brian got eaten by a shark a second time. <laughs> it was so bad. I'm like, I didn't know sharks were a thing in this game. I'm like, oh, apparently you can get eaten by sharks. Oh, goodness. Sorry. That had nothing to do with board games, but I had to share it because it made me laugh so hard. So Amanda Panda, I swear, if we can get a group together, you know, Michael, uh, who I stream games with, I'm playing with Michael and Susan and my friend Brian. And if you have PC, I think if you can do it with PFPS4 or whatever, you, we can all play cross platform. Let me know. It's a four. You need four players for a full crew. It is so fun. 
I'm not very good at it yet, so we need someone who knows the game. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. Did you play, Ashley? I'm distracted. All right. Move so, this fish up, and then I put a jellyfish there. Oh, sorry, a okay. Medusa. I think it's a Medusa. a Medusa. Okay. And just so everybody knows, I'm looking at the Astro A40s with the mix box for my next headset. So if anybody owns those, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, because they were $100 more than the last one. So that's it. I'm done after this. <laughs> Uh, okay, long story short. I want some purple and blue stuff, but it's just not working. It's not a thing. It is not a thing. Let us do this. And this. Yoink. And do that. Oh my goodness, that's not what I wanted. My Never good to be chum. <laughs> you turn right. That shark was so scary. It was a great white. And my friend's like, no, there's like, there's a Meg in the game. I'm like, I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> Oh, good gravy. Krakens, Megs. I don't know how long I'm going to survive in that game. It took me a long time to figure out what a Meg was. When I found out that there was a movie called The Meg, I was very right. confused because I was like binging Family Guy. And I was right. just like, wait, what? What's the <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I know now. I've been yes. informed. I figured it out. But <laughs> it was very confused for a little while. I know, right? I had the same thing. And I was like, what? And then I was like, oh, mm. like, like when you find out what it is, you're like, that makes sense. It felt like one of those things where someone like where people online just make fake movie trailers where it's like <laughs> the Meg, but then it had like a, like they put a little hat on it or something. Yes. Even that didn't happen, but it just felt like something that someone was making. Like it did not feel like it was a real thing. Can I tell you, I thought the exact same thing. I'm like, is this a fake? Like I thought it was yeah. a joke. Uh, it was actually an all right movie, but I like Jason Statham. So anyway, as it might know, it's your turn. You're still going. No, I went. I went. Oh, you I went. I'm sorry. Your seahorse, your seahorse now lives over here, and then the starfish. Well, has you know broken, that broken was that seahorse trio. That was a, a insubordinate and churlish. No. <sighs> okay, now I gotta like reconsider some things here because well, you said you wanted is. that to be a dead zone, so it is. It is, but I wanted it to be more of a dead zone for you than for mm. me. I see. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Well. Why are you taking yeah. your turn? If anyone's wondering, there's one of each animal in every color. So you're never going to have, like, two blue rain uh, rain reindeers. Two blue seahorses. <laughs> no reindeers in this game. So here's a situation where... You can help me? Yes. I don't want to. Actually, no. I better not do that, because that could actually end up going very badly for me. Actually, no, because you could block me. No, we're not doing that. Um, oh, goodness. I don't know what to do. That would make sense. Oh, sacky-doo. Okay. Okay. I see what's going to happen here, because I, I just cannot allow this to happen. So we'll go here. Move that one. And put this one. I'll still give you your points, but I can get in on the action while I'm at it. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Ashley's very quiet. And I'm like, she's either frozen or thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. Sorry. Okay. Okay. It's okay. You Wait, why am anything. I apologizing for that? I, I'm not frozen. Okay. I'm thinking. Let's see what Amanda Panda saying. I wonder if you can still win by sort of helping the other players so that they don't move your pieces instead of direct competition. Yes. That happened to us last night, actually. It also happened. I played this game against Suzanne uh, and I was basically like baiting her. I was like <laughs> giving her the fake gifts. But really, the fake gifts were because if she took that move, then I would be in a more opportune position for myself. Right. Um, see, that's why I needed to say in the meantime, you say, meanwhile, at the ranch, I was doing this. <laughs> Make it more exciting. <laughs> Sorry, I tell I tell boring stories. No, no, oh my goodness. Okay, that you need that to be more look... exciting with your vocabulary, Ashley. Or you could just be super random like me. That's probably where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and FYI, apparently I had a better score than Suzanne. I don't like to gloat, but this doesn't happen very often, so I'm going to take advantage of it. So Suzanne, if you're watching, Suzanne's not even here to defend herself. <laughs> Right? Do you see how I do it when she's not around? And then we'll do the podcast. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ashley. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda Panda. I tr For some reason, these ki I like these kinds of games because it forces me to think on the fly. You know what I mean? The board is always changing. 
And I like it's hard for you to plan. You could plan all you want, but there's like a 99% chance it's going to be changed. And I like that quite a bit. I don't know what your thoughts are on that, Ashley. I don't know if I can explain them in a very exciting way. Unless oh, I say, <laughs> meanwhile, at the ranch, I, I also agree. <laughs> all right. All right. I appreciate you <laughs> saying that. <laughs> okay. I took it. Just did. Yeah, that was too much. Oh, good gravy. That would be literally giving you points. I don't know how I feel about that one of those Ugh. like chess timers where you're just like Pow. <laughs> although i'm really tempted to do that but then you're just gonna move it anyway not that's mad the at really you. the frustrating thing too sometimes is like you could just be like boop 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 like there's no rule <laughs> yeah. that's like you can't move the tile that was just moved which happened a couple times i think in our game yeah there we go need to do a speed round with minimal thinking <laughs> yeah I right see what you're doing you don't even know. You don't even know. Actually, she probably does 100% know. I'm so predictable. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that took a turn that I didn't really appreciate. Let's be clear. <laughs> uh, I gave you two turtles, okay? Also true. But I cannot in good conscience let you have those two pinks. There are four pinks there. Okay, in my eyes, I saw two, okay? <laughs> Let me have the win. <laughs> no, but, win. but this happened to us yesterday where we <laughs> just weren't seeing the reds. <laughs> I so I didn't bad. want you to be surprised like, when what? you were like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. nice. I mean, move. that's... I mean, it's, it's uh, there's an example where Ashley's still getting points, but it's less points than if I had let it ride. So... Sometimes you have to take your, your losses. So, but for those watching, if you could let me know how the stream is running on your end, I did make some changes uh, in Streamlabs and I made some changes to latency. So if something is not good, um, if it's not running too smoothly, let me know just so I can make some amendments or adjustments. But I think it's been going so far, uh, well so far. So I'm trying to get Ashley to play this it's like a RPG. It actually is like a board game, quote unquote, but it's a video game. It's called For the King. Um, unfortunately, it is not cross-platform, which makes it a bit difficult, uh, but it's so good. Yeah, the one you want me to play, that's the one you want Suzanne to play. Well, I want Suzanne to play that because I know she has um, access to it. I want you to play too, and I'll get it on Steam because oh, guess what? So I'm actually probably going to buy it um, to play with Michael. Maybe Susan, if I can rope her into doing it too. Because she's really into Guild Wars right now. So I'll see if I can change her mind. Oh, good gravy. This is a little situation here. Oh, but I really want to do that so badly. What happened? Wait, did that move? That moved. Mm. Well. Yeah, but then you could see. And this is where I have to make decisions. Do I like split it up? Do I not? I feel like I kind of have to. I don't want to. This but game seems to. particularly vicious. Like it last does. time when we played, we had a little bit more like higher scoring areas. Now it's just like, <laughs> nope, no, no. I agree with you. I'm like, what's happening right now? Well, I cannot have this happening. So I think we'll do this. Well, it was going to go there or somewhere else. I just hadn't had a. Oh, I don't want to do that though, because that kind of like. Who poos my plans a little bit? Uh, no, no, no. Blah, 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 blah. I could just do that. I have two ways of doing this. Although I'm not mad at that if you do that so much. But I would be mad at the other thing. Okay, let's try that and see how that pans out for me. <laughs> let's see. Okay, perfect. Uh, so, Mikhail's saying the stream is good. Um, money poo hug chat seems a lot snappier. Okay, good, good. Because I did change the latency, so that means you're getting it a little bit faster. There's a slight delay, but it's hopefully less than before. Hey, Jeremy, thanks for joining us. I feel like that was very Tom Vassal when I said that, by the way. Oh my gosh. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, everybody. Hey, folks. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what came over me. Thanks for joining us. Have you played Aqualin, Jeremy? This is, we've determined a fun, but potentially mean, but not horribly like in your face mean i don't know how else to explain it <laughs> it's pretty in your face mean 
I don't, but here's the thing. I don't feel bad. You know, some games are mean and you feel, <laughs> okay, that did not come out right. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh my goodness. Bad. I'm amongst friends here, so thank goodness. <laughs> Sorry, is it my turn? I'm chatting away. No, I'm I'm oh, okay. strategizing. All right. So <laughs> since he's rubbing off on you, I think so. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I mean before the pandemic, we you know, we spend a lot of time with the team because we're on calls together, we do conventions together. Maybe because I just watched a video recently from <laughs> maybe that's why it was in my head. I don't know. But that's a good thing. It's a very jovial snappy hello. <laughs> Oh, Jeremy, I have not. He's like, but I like a mean game, though. Okay. So do you know the rules, Jeremy? If not, I can quickly um, talk about them, or Ashley can talk about them after her turn, whichever. Hold on. Yeah, no, take your time. Uh, put the thing there. Give Ashley a minute to think about her moves, and then um, we can go through it quickly. And other people may have popped in as well. But um, we were missed, We were talking about the whole two-player series with Cosmos and how we all, even including the chat enjoy them so okay so Ashley do you mind just doing a quick recap nope, uh, not at all of the rules? Uh, so hello Jeremy thanks for joining us um <laughs> what's happening now is Mandy and I are trying to make contiguous groups of our scoring school so Mandy is trying to make contiguous groups of like animals and I'm trying to make contiguous groups of like colors uh and there's a little chart on the side here that'll tell us how many points we get when we um at the end of the game when we score those. So on our turn, the first thing we can do is we can shift one tile up or down, left or right, but it goes as far as the edge. So that could be the edge of the board or the edge of a tile, like Mandy just did. Uh, and then after that, we place one of the tiles from this drafting pool, and then we refill it. So it's pretty straightforward. Hmm. I feel like that was very bad, but I don't know what else to do. <sighs> See, that was a turn where I had a lot of possibilities. Yeah, and you fell right into my trap. <laughs> I know. Can I tell you, that's not what I was going to do. I was actually, I'll tell you exactly what I was going to do. I was actually going to do something with the fish, and I opted not to because I didn't want you to do the blah, the purple, but I have another way around it. So, <laughs> well, hello, Omar. Thanks for popping in. Hopefully you caught a bit of that explanation from Ashley, and Jeremy, hopefully you got all that as well. But it's pretty straightforward. It's not the game, you know, learning the game. It's actually learning how to read your opponent and their next moves that's where it can be a little tricky so and the game ends when we put all the tiles out on the board exactly i think i said that okay so i'm not entirely mad at this but i know i'm in a position now where oh that's really good though so many things i could do but i need to break something up boop 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 uh yes 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 that's a bit of an issue actually if i do that oh it's too bad i didn't have that that would have been quite nice actually i could move that okay so when ashley's taking her turn i can quickly or actually i'm going my turn now so on a turn i'm trying to get animals of the same type together ashley's trying to get colors that are the same together so you can see i have a grouping here ashley has a grouping of red here so the first thing on your turn you can move a tile which i'm about to do so i'm actually going to move this little fishy down here and we are going to put in its place i hadn't gotten that far yet i have to take a <laughs> tile from down here <laughs> i'm like oh and i'm actually going to place the yellow one here because i'm trying to get groupings of the same type and from a tile over here, fill in this little kind of market area. And that's it. So hopefully you caught that. But that's literally how simple it is. It's just maneuvering it. I know Ashley's trying to trap me, and I have fallen into one or two, but that's okay because I have backup plans. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work out for me, though. There's too many traps that I want to set is the problem, I... and not enough, not enough movement. I know, and that's why I'm like, eh, I'll just go with it and see what happens. <laughs> So, but if this is one, honestly, I know Suzanne was raving about it, how good it was. And I was like, I don't know. It sounds kind of mean. And I have to say, I am thoroughly enjoying it. So if you haven't tried it, this is on Tabletopia. That's where we're playing it. So if you want to check it out, that's a good note. note oh, that it yeah. is premium on t Tabletopia, though. Thank you for Sun that. Sun yes. on Tabletopia is free. This one is a premium game. That is correct. Thank you for that. Well... Not happy about this for many reasons, because I would have loved little starfish there to be down here. 
Oh, alas, <laughs> alas, it's, it's not you, may, you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Um, okay. Instead, I will. I could do that. That seems fairly obvious, though. No, I'm not about that life right now. What I want to do is ensure that that could happen there, but then I could make that. So I'm thinking things through in my head here. If it will work out, I don't Mandy. know. <laughs> in my head and out loud. It's kind of like both ways here. So I've moved that one down here. And mm -hmm. I want to put... Hold on. If only you had two movements. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I know. I mean, technically, I could just put this here. But then you're going to move this. So hold on. Let's scooch that on back. I have to. I need a minute. So you can sure. feel free to talk to the chat while I ponder. <laughs> Chat, let me know what some of your favorite two-player Cosmos games are. We talked about War of the Roses or Rosenkonig, maybe? Um, the one with the black cover with the rose on it. I really like Imhotep Duel. I think it is a far superior game to Imhotep. I really like Lost Cities. And we were talking about the my nerdy one that I love called Dragonheart which is, I think, out of print, but all available on all the online platforms. So Targi is good. Yes. Good call. Forgot about that one. Whoops. <laughs> even though we did a stream of it. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Since our stream, and if anyone has watched it, we, Mandy and I played Targi with the new expansion. Has anybody played with the expansion for Targi? And if so, what do you feel about it? I'm going to give you points. Do you like way. Mercado? Um, are you talking about Mercado from Cosmos, the sort of larger oh, Rudiger yeah. Doran game? I'm done, by the Jeremy? way. Jeremy? Okay. <clears throat> Mercado for If so, it was just, if, if that's the Mercado you're talking about, it's, I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't think there was enough in the game to make it a lasting game. Like, I think I played it four or five times and I was, I got everything I felt I needed to out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we played it together a couple times, if I'm not mistaken. We did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm done, by the way. I did give you some pointage there, but... Oh, no, also... Mercado is, is a much uh, larger game. I think it plays mm -hmm. up to four. It does. And it's, it's in big. the big, like, Cosmos box. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could play it with two, but it isn't part of the two-player series. Okay, Lost Cities on the iPad. Yeah, I mean, I played on the iPad a lot as well. I do have the Rivals and I have the original. Both are very good. I think you taught me, actually, Ashley. I had not played Lost Cities. Yeah, yeah. I, you were looking for a, some shelf staple options, and I was like, I have Lost Cities. Let's play it. Yeah, so which is great. And then I ended up getting a copy, and there's a new box cover, which I like, showing some diversity, which makes me uh, very happy. So Cosmos uh, sent me a copy of that, and I thought that was really nice. So yeah. That includes the, um, there's a sixth, sixth expedition or seventh expedition there was right. an expansion where you could get another expedition and right. the new version includes that as well nice, uh yeah. you're stalling stop trying to distract me from my turn okay <laughs> my apologies let's talk chat so chat i know let's Ashley let her concentrate i know i've given her some things to think about some good things so she can i know she, i know what she's Any going to good do. things yeah i know i gave you lots of good things um let her contemplate that so it's a gift from me to you <laughs> so Many of the Cosmos two-player games are available on BGA and Yukata. Yeah, and that's what I've heard uh, from Ashley and other people. Um, I haven't been on those for a while. Again, it's not that I don't want to. It's just busy. But now that I think about it, do they have a lot of the newer games on there? I usually play Tabletopia or Tabletop Simulator. But I do like applications or apps that enforce rules. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes I kind of briefly look at the rules and I'm like, okay, let me just try it out. And if a game's like, oh, you can't do this, like sometimes I'll just play it straight off the bat like that. But in this particular case, you can't do that with Tabletopia or Tabletop Simulator. You do need to know the game um, um, well. So, Yukata does not usually have newer games. BGA is starting to get a lot more. Um, like, for instance, they have the new uh, Marco Polo, like mm -hmm. which just came out in English recently. Right. Um, so, yeah, as, and as Michaela is saying, they're really expanding. Uh, they've got a ton of games in beta testing. Got it, got it. Okay. But yeah, Yukata is still, I think, primarily the older. I I love Yukata because they have a lot of oldies but goodies on there. Mm -hmm. And they just actually got Rajas the Dice Game, which I didn't even know existed. Really? 
Yeah. There's oh, a dice game for Rajas. I don't know if it's a roll and write or if it's just a dice version of the game. Um, yeah. But it popped up. I was playing Castles of Burgundy on Yucatan. And I, it popped up and I was like, oh, cool. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. Tabletopia has a ton of new games. And don't get me wrong. I have a, I have a nice account. Tabletopia was kind enough to to gift uh, me an account where I can play the premium games so I can review them and whatnot because it's hard for me to get the physical ones played. But sometimes I like those rule and force systems like Yukata or Boitage and like those kinds of Boitage or those types of places. So um, I was just curious to see what types of games they had because I have a lot of newer games that I have to get played. So. Uh, it is your turn, Ashley. Sorry, I don't know if I said that. Yeah, I like what you just did there with the crab because you're trying to you're trying to trap me. I see you. I'm not trying to trap you at all. Yes, actually. you are. <laughs> and if I don't trap trap if I don't fall for your trap, you're gonna double up on your your crabs. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. <laughs> don't play this like I don't know. I'm bad at games. Sometimes though, it it literally just happens accidentally. <laughs> And it's like, oh, look at that. That just fell into my lap. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's Mikhail saying, personally, I prefer playing turn-based on BGA or Yukata, so I'm spoiled with the at taking care of the rules. Yeah, I get you. I'm one of those people that'll just jump into a game and just play the tutorial. Do you know what I mean? Just so I could get into it, because I think it's more irritating. I mean, sitting, I'm like, oh, reading rules is so boring. I like to do and read at the same time, if that makes sense. <laughs> So I saw what you did there. I suspected you might do something along those lines. But... Well, it was either move the crab up and yeah. put something there. But the only pink thing is the pink crab, which is just a gift. <laughs> so I decided to ruin all of our plans. <laughs> I, I'm going down with it. It's all good. So I could do that. And then do that i'm not mad at that actually and i actually don't care as much actually that works out really well for me <laughs> like well, why are you not crabbing yeah i'm not actually it's funny i was gonna do something else but now i'm like no this is better oh i have so many good things that i could do right now I too have played, Mikael have played games on BGA and Yucata and Boitage where it's just like, I kind of know the rules enough to play, but right. I mostly just want to get a feel of the game. Uh. So let's just jump in. And I find that then I'll dive in deeper if I enjoyed my experience. But yeah, I've definitely been there. What? <laughs> yeah, trust me. There was something else I was going to do, but I couldn't very well leave that green fish on the board because that would have like literally locked you in a few points. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Wow. I cannot believe you just did that. <laughs> Why? It wasn't. It's good. You've got lots of things to do. See? There you go. No, I'm not upset about it for me. I'm upset about it for you. Nah, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm really not, actually. I can tell. Yes. You're very casual about it. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Because I knew that I knew you were going to go for that, but there's if I had put the green, you would have got way more points with the green. Yeah. So I had to get rid of the green. I'm actually in a very good position. I'm happy with the position I'm in right now. Because getting tense, everybody. So let Ashley focus, because I know right now it's... This is the time where you want to... time. Yes, look at things and analyze things. And one little mistake can seriously ruin this game. Like, I actually thought I had it in the bag last game. I was a little too confident. Um, and I lost you, by one were... point. I felt I was confident. In my brain, I was oh. like, yes, I think I might have a win. But I just didn't say it out loud. So when Definitely. you won by a point, I was actually like, oh, I thought I had that one. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, Mikhail's saying, and one fun thing, when I buy a game after playing it on BGA, and I've bought lots, I'm often completely lost when playing it in real life. Hmm, what now? No computer to refill stuff. That's me! Sometimes I get so reliant on the system doing things for you. Yeah. So then you're like, oh, yeah. Or you just don't know how to do it because you've never had to do it. Oh, I 100% have been there. Oops. And have you ever played a game online a lot? And then somebody's like, I just got this game. And you're like, oh, I've played that a lot online. And they're like, great, you can teach it to us. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, but all I know is how to just like take my turn. Because yeah, exactly. like you say, everyone else is doing their thing and the computer is taking care of the upkeep. <laughs> you're just like, ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll I'm try. Done. And then I've I feel it was silly when I can't do it. Yep. I was, well, I was playing the Fury of Dracula app on Steam because we're hoping to do a playthrough Ashley, Suzanne, and I at some point. And... Um, 
Yeah, I realized how many things I've forgotten. And I have a feeling playing it on the app is going to make me lazy. Because it's going to mm. do a lot of the work that normally you would do in the game. So I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice little area you've gotten there. I'm not mad at Jeremy, you. Jeremy, do you mind? I like when the tiles are together. I know yeah. it's weird. It's just one no. of those compulsions that I have. Um, Jeremy's asking, I lost the question. Where'd it go? What game or games are you tracking down for yourself for Christmas or maybe for someone else? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Pinball's going to be one of the ones. The super, oh, why do I always get the title wrong? Because super... uh, it's silly. Super scale pinball four K, I think. That's yeah, what it is. I think that's it. Yeah, so that's actually one I might buy in bulk for gifts because I have a lot of friends that would. Good love luck it. if you find it. It's, like it's on pre order everywhere. Like oh, it's, we, on it's on pre order okay. in Canada, is anyways. So I'm done. By the way, we have it, but, um, yeah. So let's see. But oh, side note, I will ask for Christmas though. There's a new game from Uva Uva Rosenberg that I had no idea was even Our... out. Holotope? That's the one you were talking about? Yeah, I was like, what? And I like to collect Uva games, so that looks kind of cool. But, um, yeah. Oh, you went there, Ashley? So here's a situation where this is just wretched, because Ashley has so much blue here. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Makes me so angry. Fair. But what choice do I have at this point? So, um, yeah, I'm in trouble. This is not great for me. I mean, I guess technically I could do this. And then a Caput Regni, or however one pronounces it, is one that's on my list. Unfortunately, it's only on import in Canada, and it was in small quantities, and it's already sold out. So, woo. Mm-hmm. Oh, Paul Rogan did a playthrough. Okay, I'll have to check that out. It looks so good. It's really mm-hmm. expensive here. It's like 100 Canadian. I'm like, woo. So, we'll have to put that on the list uh, for later. We'll see. But um, what do you have on here? So, you're, you have Euros. Like, yeah, so Hallark 2. That's what I was saying. Praga Caput Regni. I don't know that one. That oh, you don't know that one? Have I not no. talked to you about this, Mandy? Because I talk about it with everybody else. No, my, it is a new Vladimir. I think it's pronounced Suhi, um, yes, but it's it spelled Suchi. Suchi. Yeah. Um, uh, who does Pulsar twenty eight forty nine and so like good. Last Will and Underwater Cities? Mm-hmm. It's the new delicious games game, uh, mm-hmm. and it looks like just like such a beautiful bland euro where i'm just like so excited about it and there are these like 3d pieces that you use like to build yeah. anyway it looks great no no yeah i totally hear you but rio rio hasn't uh rio grande games hasn't picked it up yet so it's only import right now by praga listen okay i just jeremy you missed the early part of this conversation where i have to return my other headset and i just bought 300 and some odd dollar headset so right now money is like i gotta like be careful with the spending but it's on the list maybe maybe santa claus will be nice and send me a copy (laughs) who knows um yeah that's actually really upsetting now that I think about it. But yes, now I now I feel like I have to go and check this one out too. To can you, uh, Ashley and I, we've played it for a few times and I love it. It's so good. Um, we would like to do a playthrough of it, but we're we're waiting for some stuff. So eventually, when that's still happens, waiting for yeah copies of it. Yeah, I have yeah. a copy, but you need a copy so we can do it together so you can all see how it's played. It was just it works so much easier when we both have a copy of a game versus one yes, person especially managing that game everything it's a lot so you know we'll get on that because i would love 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 to do a playthrough of that one so crossing our fingers that happens soon yeah i thought you might do that well like i'm kind of if i don't do that then either way i give you turtle or medusa points well so. yeah i'm getting points regardless you're absolutely right, yeah i know so. yeah but it, it would have been the same thing had it been my turn right so i mean you're getting blue points at least and i got my little connection there it's not great but it's something okay so that is the end of the game. Mandy, would you like, yeah, I'll do would the you like scoring me like to go did. through and you do the scoring? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to shift my screen a little bit. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that it, that's still on screen for everybody. Yes, everybody can see yeah. that. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so we'll start by going with the colors. They recommend using this little thing over here to uh, keep track. I'll just zoom. Why aren't you zooming in? There we go. <laughs> uh, so... Well, we apparently have used, played the German version of the game, oh, um, right. but this is saying you're grouping and this is how many points you get. So one, three, six, ten, and five. If our groupings are of one, we get zero. So blue, I've got big old zero, big old zero, oh, nice one, two, there. three, four. So I get six. Nice. Uh-huh. Green, I only have these three, so I get three. Okay, so up to nine. Pink is pitiful. I get one point for pink. 
All right, chat can keep me honest up to 10. Uh, purple, I get three points. Okay, up to 13. Red, I get three, four points. Okay, up to 17. And yellow, I get two. Woo, up to 19. Okay. Wow, my worst score. Oh, that's okay. Was Actually, it, was a... I think it's in between my my worst and my best. This is, this is um, a tough one. This is a tough one. Uh, sorry, I got distracted by the chat. Me too. I was looking. At my, I'm <laughs> I, sorry, I got felt. distracted by bonfire by felt. Yeah, yeah I know too. that one's on Tabletopia. So, Mandy, yeah. you and I are looking to uh, yes, play it on like Tabletopia on. first so. again because I don't know if is it Hal Games that does it. Um, that one I'm not sure, but um, oh. or it's Pegasus Spiele. I think it is Pegasus Spiele. I think you're right. Either way, it's not quite here yet. No, and by but here that... I mean Canada. That would be one that I would definitely. I mean, everyone knows I love Feld, so I mean, if yeah. it's if we are so inclined, maybe we'll stream it. We'll see how it goes. Maybe. Well, I, well, we'll see because I don't love Luna, and it's kind sure. of takes some of the Luna mechanisms. So uh, I, see. I, I don't want to be grumpy when we're doing <laughs> a stream. I know, right? With our fun chat, I totally get yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> and me just being like, oh, rah, 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 I hate this game. Uh, not that I hate Bonfire or Luna, just right. sometimes it makes me angry. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's okay. let's go through our animals. So we'll start with crabs. So Mandy, I always find the animals a little trickier. Yeah. Do. So I think There's crabs crab. were I think rough. you just get one. Here. Yep. Crabs were rough. Am I I feel like I'm missing a crab. There's supposed to be six. Mm. Because there's one up in the corner. That's one. That's two. That's oh, three. I am. It's the red one. Okay, everybody. If I miss the red stuff, I apologize. I'm really trying to not. Yes, it does support solo, Mikael, and that was one of the things where I saw it and I was like, a Feld game that's soloable. This is amazing. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. I mean, that doesn't interest me so much. It's a Feld. That's where my interest lies. But I get the appeal of having, especially now, having the solo for sure. Having a Feld with a solo option is unheard of. Also true. Like actually true. unheard of. <laughs> um, okay, fish. Yep. There's a fish there. <laughs> I love it. You're like, there's one. Oh, yeah. I, all your fish are together. Yeah, they're together. So you get that. six points. Ooh, I'm up to seven. I don't think I did as well this game, unfortunately. Uh, seahorses. There's one here. The one there. Two one here. there, one there. So one for the seahorses. Yeah, I think it's my worst score today. Oh, I skipped the medusas. Okay, it's fine. Medusa, that's one... One, I think? Yeah, but I, I feel Again, I think I'm missing a medusa. One, two, uh, no, three... Four. Five. Five. Six. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not a good run for me. Starfish. That's one. Wow. That's so one. Bad. That and so then bad. turtles. Not good. One here. <laughs> one here. Wow. That's so bad. So. Ooh. Sorry, man. Yeah. No, it was rough. So last, so last night when we played, uh, Ashley had twenty one and I had twenty. Mm -hmm. um, this turn, but I felt that I was. This game, you did a better job of breaking up my little areas than last night. Oh, thank Do you know you. what I mean? But in yeah. breaking them up, you pushed stuff into your groupings, which helped, and you forced me into areas where I had to put your color. So that definitely made a difference. So I'm gonna just uh, switch us I over. Me to stop the... sharing. Yes, please, if you don't mind. So I would like to time. say that I did all of those things intentionally, but like I did some things intentionally, but certainly sure. not all of them. I can't that's take what I was, full credit for that. But that's, but that's what I mean. That's what I was trying to tell you where sometimes you do it and it's like, oops, it just fell right into my lap. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So that sometimes can be what happens. So, but anyway, but yeah, no, I'm glad we got a lot of people checking it out. I know it's a newer game, so um i'm hoping people at least try it out if you can on tabletopia like we said it is a premium so you it is under that kind of paid account with tabletopia but mm -hmm. yeah see how that goes all right so what do you think ashley overall i like it great two-player cosmos game fits perfectly in the line with like simplicity but also like depth to it mm -hmm. uh, two thumbs up <laughs> i also enjoyed this game anytime i see people say mean games i kind of go Ooh. I don't I mean as much as I joke about it I'm not really into mean games although I do like Luna from Feld go figure um but I don't find it mean I don't know why I just don't find it mean because you uh, don't feel bad you already said it at the <laughs> top of the top of the stream you were like I don't feel bad when I play this so it's fine it's not very mean that's fair. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I think this one here, I mean, I have it. I'm very happy to add it to the collection, and this will be a keeper in the collection. Um, two players are hard for me to get to the table, but with what's going on, Ashley and I have been able to play. I can play with Suzanne and other people online. And as you can see, having it on Tabletopia is really useful. So I really like it. It works for a brain like mine where things are always changing. I like that. That kind of, okay, it's changed. Great. Now I can do something versus having to sit here and plan it. I'm not particularly good at that. This makes me feel very happy that I can... Now, this was a poor showing, okay? The first game, I swear, was much better. But it shows you that things could change on a dime, right? So you could be really confident and, oops, there it goes. And you could be helping someone else in the process. So uh, Aqualyn is a winner for me. Any thumbs? Yes, or like so many thumbs. little fish heads. Little Hopping fishes. out of the These water. These are my little fish. Gobbling the little breadcrumbs. Two fish. There we go. Although my thumbs look really weird. Maybe I'll I was going to say, that, that doesn't look like a fish, Mandy. It's like a tadpole. <laughs> okay. That's just weird. <laughs> oh, see? Thank you, Amanda. You 100% get it. You're producing the stream, so you have a disadvantage. And it's true. You're not 100% focused. Um, that's why when I play games with Suzanne, I tell everyone right off the bat, 99% of the time, yes, she's a very good player, so she could win regardless. But the stream does kind of take away your attention. So, but I swear... I feel like I have to justify last night that I did have a decent score. <laughs> Again, Suzanne is not here to defend herself from all your claims. <laughs> I mean, like, Suzanne wins because I do the... No, I'm kidding. Um, you did very well last night. And you did very well here. It was just a different game. Right. And th and that's it. It could... It, it... A streaming aside, it could change quickly like that. So, But I hope you all get a chance to try it, if, if not the uh, Tabletopia version, at least or the physical version, because I definitely think you could play it. Um over a camera as well because it's you're all using the same kind of boards right so all the yeah everything is open. is open yeah so yeah so that's it so thank you everyone the chat as always is um i'm gonna use an old like 90s saying da bomb so good <laughs> sorry I was to spanish music so i was like la bomba <laughs> so you were fun. listening to la bomba I was. <laughs> oh my gosh that's amazing <laughs> So, <laughs> just another words and I don't know. I know, me too. Like it's gone. Um, uh, anyway, yeah. okay, sorry. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta wrap up. For we're gonna everyone. wrap up. What I was gonna say is, if anybody has any suggestions for games that you'd like to see, if it's possible, um, you can send us an email at to die for games. It's really annoying, but it's the number two die for games. That is not the channel, as you can all see. It is T-O, but that was all that was available. So two, number two, die for games at gmail.com. And you can let us know if there's a game you would like to see. But it is always our pleasure to join you if you're working. Today I'm off, so it was able to happen. And uh, we look forward to our next stream. So that's it. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you probably next week. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Okay, bye. bye.